Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another one hour of Wilderness Slayer and today we are doing Ice Warriors. As you can see I have 85 range and I will be safe spotting these the whole time so I would recommend bringing range or mage as well. As you can see I have simple food, you don't need that much at all, I just brought it just in case. And as you can see the items I'm bringing, I'm bringing three items that are pretty expensive that I will keep. The rest is kind of junk that will still help me with range. Do the same as well, whatever you can afford. Just bring three items that you can keep and then the rest you don't care about if you die. The Ice Warriors don't have any notable drops so you don't have to worry about getting a good loot and having it save over an item that you plan on keeping. The location of the Ice Warriors, they're in the Frozen Waste Plateau which is the very top northwest of the wild in that area there. So basically I'm going to run from Edgeville and then basically hug the left wall of the wild and just run straight north because there's like a mountain range or something where you can't run past it. So basically you just run all the way to the left side of the wild and just run straight north. And once you get to a snowy area, you basically found it. Now I do advise you that you are going to run into multi-combat zones. One is a big hotspot for Bikang and that is that altar up there. You might see people training their prey over there and it's multi and a lot of people like to hop there. So just be aware that you're going to run straight through that area so be careful that you don't run into any PKers. So I'm going to speed this up a bit, there's nothing really special about uh getting there um i'm saving a bit of run i should have brought a stamina pot but it's not really needed but i made sure i kept at least some run energy in case a pk or logs on me and i can run or something also if you notice i didn't bring any teleports that's because the ice warriors are in level 42 wild so you can't teleport anyway so i'll just be hopping to a free-to-play world when i'm done and just be walking back and teleporting back to lumbridge using the home teleport and as you can see i run into this guy and uh, i wasn't sure if he had an account to be came on so i kind of lied that i was killing the anakus but uh yeah you can't really trust anyone in this game but this guy kind of seemed nice but i had to lie to him just so i won't die Alrighty, so we made it to the snowy area and welcome to the place that we're going to sit here for an hour. So as you can see, these snowy rocks, they're very easy to safe spot behind. There's a ton of different safe spots that you can do this at. This is my favorite one where I am right now because one spawns right by me and it gets stuck as it aggros on me and that's the one I just killed. Then there's also another one that spawns up on the hill a little bit by the tree that I can just attack and then it will get stuck in that spot as well. The only concern I have is when I pick up the loot, they might get aggroed on me, but you know, it's it's fine. I brought some food and I can just run back to that safe spot and I'll be good. So sometimes they spawn like a little bit further down and then they get past the safe spot. All you had to do is run up and run back and you'll get them. So you can go back and watch what I just did for that. And then as you can see, the other guy up there, he aggroes on me and gets stuck as well. So this is my favorite spot. I'm sure you can find some other ones, but this is just mine. So yeah, basically I'll be sitting here for one hour, killing these, see how many I can get, see what kind of profits I can get. And uh, yeah, I'll be back. So I think this is a good part in the video to show me dying to a PKer that it can happen. Now this happened at my first attempt of making this video, so I kind of restarted, but basically this is what happened. So just be aware that you can get PK'd and there are PKers that will check this area. As you can see, as, as I'm killing this one, if you look in the minimap, you can see the dot coming at me. Now, I could have logged out right there, but I decided to, to check on my screen to see if he was able to attack me. And that's what fucked me up. Um, I could have easily logged out in time, but I decided to turn my screen and see if he was BK -er. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just logged out right away. And of course, he has DDS and I'm poisoned, and there's literally no chance for me to escape um rip but luckily i wasn't scold at all 
and I kept my three items, and he kind of got just shit loot. Yeah, he probably spent more on his runes to freeze me and stuff, but... Oh well, you're going to run into that. Just be more aware and log out. As soon as you see a white dot, don't be like me and try to look at him first. Just log out. It's a lot easier. One quick tip I can give you is when your aggro goes away with the monsters, like they stop attacking you automatically, you kind of want to get that back because it makes it a lot easier instead of having to hunt them down and attack them. So what I do is I just run south to this altar right here, or this church, and then as soon as I hit the wall I just run back, and that's far enough where when you run back to the area they'll be aggressive on you. And why I suggest doing this is because they'll just keep on aggroing and coming to you, otherwise they're just going to wander around and you're going to have to attack them and kind of lure them back into the safe spot. So it's just something to make your life easier, you don't have to do it, but uh, that's what I recommend. But yeah, back to my main task, nothing really interesting happened. I mean, the first time I tried this, I died, but then this time, I literally didn't get anything cool. I got a Slayer's Enchantment, which is a unique item for Wilderness Slayer, but uh, that's literally like the shittiest one you can get. It could have been like a 140k Mysterious Emblem. But no, I got like a 2k Slayer enchantment, which is stupid. So it's basically a 50-50 chance for that, and those drop. But yeah, as you can see, on my way back, I hopped to a free-to-play world. And I decided just to run back into level 20 so I can teleport back to Lumbridge. I highly recommend doing this, because honestly, you're not going to run into many PKers in free-to-play. Like, the chances of you running into a free-to-play PKer versus a members PKer is so much smaller so i just recommend just doing this and you can easily just hop too that's my little trick that i do whenever i try to bank for wilderness slayer but yeah let's go back to edgeville bank and then i will see how much money i made and we'll wrap this up Alrighty, as you can see i got a lot of herbs and a lot of seeds those were hiding in my looting bag and it came out to be 33k very sad um, again, I got unlucky getting the Slayer's Enchantment and not the Mysterious Emblem. But uh, yeah, you will get some herbs, you will get some seeds. It kind of just depends how lucky you get with those drops. But uh, anyways, hopefully this video helped you somewhat. And uh, good luck on your task if you have one. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like the video if you haven't. Uh, I think that's it. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.